We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and today we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back prospect Jordan Lyle, who signed with Miami. We're going to look at the highlights. We're going to look at the 24-7 Sports player profile page. Before we dig in, though, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering these 2024 recruits every day this offseason, sometimes two or three times. So you get a good look at these players before they start making plays for your team. Soon you'll see them make plays on TV, and you're going to want to know a little bit about them. Click that button. Stop missing out. We're going to start off with this 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you'll get there. Four-star prospect in both sets of rankings. He's ranked as the 11th best running back in the composite, 15th best for 24-7 sports rankings. Six foot 180, that's dated, that is old, that's during the recruiting process, but that lets you know about his size during the high school days. But going down here, this is very important to me, he received 29 offers. 29 offers, a good amount of offers there, and my scale is 20 offers good, 30 great, 40 elite, we're around that 30 range, and then also the schools. Miami, Ohio State, Alabama, right there at the tippy top there. Cincinnati. Cincinnati doesn't have the resources to compete with Miami, Ohio State, Alabama, but they sure did try because he's a good prospect. Very good prospect. They won him. The market was hot for him. That being said, no scouting report by 24-7 Sports. No scouting report for a top prospect here. They have him ranked 15 and RB11 in the composite. You're going to get one today by me. He's locked in with the U. He decommitted from Ohio State. I remember covering that back when. But over to on three, four star with everybody. On three has him as the number one running back in the class. Rivals got him at three. ESPN always sleeping though. Going down here, Penn State after him. Florida, Florida State, everybody wants him. Let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what he's working with. Six minutes of clips here. That's good enough for me. Let me know what you think, though. Seeing some good feet, some patience. We're going to kick this guy outside. Cameraman struggling. He's trying to get that zoom and keep up. He's got some pop there from what I can see. I can't see much, but we're good zooming there. We're looking good. In the backfield. There we go. We're going to take this out. We're going to run the circle. Good feet. Good balance. We're looking cut. Great feet and balance. Great feet, and we're still going. And we're still going. Getting good balance. And we're going. We got some zip. The frames are kind of weird with this tape. Open field, we take it. That's the one thing, too, at the high school level. If they got open field like that, they got to take it. They got to eat it. They got to zip right through it. Good cut there up the gut. We're going. We're going. Size-wise, good frame. And then on top of the frame, I can see where you can add to it, which I like. Smashes through that. He's tough at contact, too. You got to come at him right. Well, at least on these highlights. Be objective with that. Good balance with the feet. Moves laterally very well. I'm glad we're covering him again. I'm glad we're looking at him again. Because I forgot he shined this much on tape. And I knew he did back then when I watched. This is why we do this. This is why we do this. And if you're worried about the 2025 class, don't worry, that's coming. Uh, Mid-season... I go really heavy, and then I just keep sticking with those guys throughout the off season. So you're good to go when your players start making plays in camp and the start of their freshman year. I'm going to hit up here on the outside. We're going. We're going. Cuts inside. I do have some 2025 guys, but I like sticking with the 2024 guys because I want to let you guys know who you're getting for your freshman class. And some people pay attention in the winter, some right before the season. And we're rolling. He's got good feet. You give him space, he takes it. Good spin. He keeps his feet good. Not worried about him at contact. 
Get some ball out there. I expect him to eat this. There we go. Are we gone? There we go. Touch up at the sideline. Puller. Puller gets the man up there. Good vision. We're operating with some big holes in some of these, but I don't care. He's got great contact balance. Cuts it up. Reads leverages well. Very good at reading leverages. Can't get much better than that. Catches it. We're working to get upfield. Crosses the goal line. Back here. Crosses the goal line again. Good around the goal line. He gets low at contact. Got some pop. We got good turn in the legs. Turn in the legs is means you're more of a sh shorter strider, but it turns fast. I learned that from my track coach back in the day. What we got back here? Cutting it up. We're going. I already got my evaluation on him. He's got very good contact balance, very good balance in general. Great feet, moves laterally very well. Reads the momentum of the defenders like instantly. He has just an innate ability to do that. Just has a very good feel of what's going on around him. Reads space very well. See him pick up that block. I guess that's something we haven't seen much in the highlights and it's now starting to show up. But I wasn't worried about that. I at least knew he was going to be willing due to his ferocity at contact. He's good at contact. you got to come right at him to bring him down. Not surprised. He's making people eat dirt here. Not surprised at all. It's just the type of player he is. Natural feel of what's going on. There's some tight lanes. He's just scooting past guys with good feet. Very twitchy as well, moving laterally. You're not seeing him slide on any of his steps or anything. Very good running back prospect. He's just one of those running backs with good vision that can pound it and take it to the outside. He has good pop, too. Look at that. See? See? He got a lot of runs like that. He can turn... For an, for the average running back, some of these would be like, like a one, two-yard gain, but he can turn them into like four or five. And that balance is going to allow him to transition quicker. And the pop after that. He's getting more yards than expected. His feet's good. His ability to read leverage is solid. It's standout. Takes it. We're moving. We're trying to move laterally into that. Getting down there. and We're good. I like Jordan Lyle still. And that's not a surprise. The tape checks out. We move laterally very well. We read the momentum of the players around us. Damn near perfectly. Make the cuts on the perfect time to really create that separation. He breaks ankles when he hits that dead leg. He's very smooth. He's also got a pop in the step. He's got a lot of upside. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.